Hey there, folks, and welcome back to the I Am CDB project. I, of course, am your host, CDB. You are not, and today we're going to use, once again, the above the tie satin, or excuse me, satin Windsor razor. This is 185. The polished polish version is a little bit more. I think he said around 210-ish. Don't hold me to that, but the satin version, which you see here, is uh, 185, come with, comes with the same warranty, 30-day satisfaction warranty or guarantee, whatever you want to call it. Today, I'm going to go with the H uh, plate to see how that goes. I've waited a little bit longer in the day to shave, so I'd have a little more to work with. So there you see there's a fair amount of stubble to work with. So we shall see how this H plate, which is the most aggressive of the line, uh, <clears throat> performs. We're going to be using the Razor Rock Blue Barbershop Soap, which smells fantastic and can be had for a great price. And I've got it already sort of bowl lathered up over here. So let's just wet the face and get right into it. No need to waste a lot of time. I hope everyone is doing well. I am doing quite well. And of course, I'm using my Thomas Bowl, which you see here. I will have some giveaway stuff coming up, by the way. Not just yet, but I do have some stuff to give away. Something from Timeless, something from Raw Shaving, so stay tuned for that. Using the Razor Rock 300 today, which is, it's kind of become my all-around go-to brush, and it's inexpensive, but man, it just works great. And really, what more can you ask for? I've come to really appreciate the long handle and all that. And those who say you can't lather Razor Rock products, well, well, it's kind of hard to see there, but this is a good lather. Uh, it's always difficult to capture lather on camera. It just doesn't come across as rich as it looks in person. But uh, this is good stuff. It smells great, by the way. If you like Barbershop, this is a different take on sort of Floyd, but I think it actually smells better than Floyd to myself, just me. And if you notice, there's a my lips kind of fats because I busted myself in the mouth with the bottom of the <laughs> Christmas the Christmas tree base when I was taking it apart. It kind of flung and hit me in the lip. So there's that. All right, above the tie, Windsor H plate. Yeah, that is nice and efficient. Actually, not rough, but you can definitely feel it uh, removing some whiskers in uh, short order. It is making short work of those whiskers to be sure. Again, this is known to be the, the more efficient of the above the tie line with the M being the sort of mild, the R being sort of the medium, and the H being the more aggressive. And some people, you know, uh, the, the H is too much for, but this feels pretty doggone good, I must say. It's really mowing through that uh, growth pretty doggone good. Not bad at all. That actually felt nice and smooth given how aggressive that can feel to some. Let's just lather back up. And keep it going and try to keep these things going at a pretty good pace. If I'm not on here waxing poetic and you know, talking philosophy and all the rest, I try to keep it moving. And even when I am waxing, well, I'm not necessarily waxing po poetic, but when I'm rambling on, let's put it that way, uh, I do try to keep it moving, but I have a tendency to drone on at times, which I'm aware of, but I'm gonna try to keep these moving. Some people enjoy it. The, you know, commentary on all sorts of other stuff. Some people don't. It's a mixed bag, but I like it. And so bottom line, I'll continue to do it. <laughs> Just the way it rolls on this channel. Oh yeah, that, this feels really, uh, actually never thought I would say this, but with a little extra growth, this feels quite smooth. Now, uh, is it a daily driver? I don't know. Um, but I let this grow about a day and a half or a little over a day and a half. And uh, it feels really good. But sometimes, you know, if you're a daily shaver, things can feel rough if it's, you know, 24 hours each day. If you let it grow 
you know, a little longer, another 12 hours to 36. Sometimes things feel smoother, but today this uh, above the tie H is feeling really nice and smooth. For some reason, this feels smoother, more smooth, I should say, than the last time I used an H plate, which has been a while. This feels actually pretty good. So if you're not um, opposed to some good efficiency, you know, maybe give the H plate a, a roll. Good quality stuff as always, as I've mentioned before. Uh, like I said in my video the other day, the first video, Stan's a good fellow. Just an old country fellow from Tennessee. Uh, we've talked on the phone a few times over the years and he shared thoughts and ideas about what he had upcoming. And I sort of said, well, yeah, I think that'll be, and, you know, he didn't base anything on what I had to say, don't get me wrong, but he, he does look for feedback and, and he takes it under advisement. He's not one of those folks that's like, oh, I already know everything there is to know. There's nothing you can suggest to me. There are people like that in this sort of hobby, but he's not one of them. Um, some people just like to do their own thing, and I respect that. And then others sort of like to put out feelers and see what the people want and sort of answer their call, so to speak. And Stan is one of those people, although he, he does do things his own way as well. Great name of the company, though, Above the Tie. I mean, that's brilliant. That's one of the best names in, in all of this hobby, we call it, Above the Tie. You can't get any better than that. It's first a very clever name. This tank is feeling smooth. I tell you, I'm surprised because the last time I used an H plate, I don't recall it being as smooth. And again, as I mentioned in my video uh, a couple of days ago, the Windsor now covers the blade edges there. Um, so you don't have that hangover of the blade, which some people did not like. It was never really an issue for me, but I think people like, I think Icon Razors kind of used to make a tongue in cheek comment about, you know, no blade edges exposed, sort of pointing at, or at least that was our perception, sort of poking it above the tie. Can't say that anymore. This one's feeling good, I'm gonna tell you, smooth. For the level of aggression it brings, that felt really good, really good. So if you like something with a little more efficiency, you might wanna try this H plate from uh, above the tie again. Something happens and you order the M or the R or the H and it's either too much or too little, you can just Within that 30 day period, reach out to Stan and go, hey, this isn't working for me. Can I send it back for an H or M or R? And uh, they'll exchange it for you. It's something I did some years ago. And, uh, you know, he cares about his customers being happy as uh, quite a few of the shave vendors do. But a few of them offer guarantees like Timeless, <clears throat> about the time. And then a few are like, once you buy it, it's yours, like Bulgoose, for example. <clears throat> Uh, it used to be, I, now I haven't bought anything from Bulgos for a long time, but if you bought something from them and it would say, you know, once once you've ordered it and used it, you cannot return it. And I understand that with brushes and, and so forth, but there's no exchange, there's no satisfaction guarantee. I think that brings a little more to the table in the premium market when you're paying this kind of money for a razor. Um, I'm not going to drone on in the post, try to keep this video short. I will be using the Magic Made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel. And then we'll also be using the very excellent Razor Rock Blue Barbershop, which you can see I've gone through over half of it. And I've only had this a little over a year, so I have used this a lot. It is wonderful. If you like the classic Floyd Blue, I think this smells better. It's a take on it, but I think this is better. And again, Razor Rock 400. I think I called it 300 earlier, so pardon me if I did. Excellent brush for the money, and of course, the greatest bowl in the hobby, in my opinion, the Timeless Bowl. I want to thank everybody for joining me once again. Till next time, I have been your host, CDB. You are not. God bless you.